This video is about how to use GeoGebra to figure out the volume and uh, surface area of this uh, vase. First of all, we will go to GeoGebra.org, the home website of uh, GeoGebra. Then press this, go to GeoGebra Classic. For this uh, GeoGebra Classic, you can move this coordinate plane as you like. We need to add the image to this uh, GeoGebra. So we press here, go to image, then choose file. Then press OK. Then we need to edit this uh, VATS because now you couldn't see the coordinate plane clearly. Therefore, you will press image first, then go to setting, then press this, change the color opacity from 100, go to 50. Then close this. See, in this way, you could see the coordinate plane clearly. Now I will move the image. I try to make sure the midline of the vase on the X axis. After you put uh, the image of a vase in a proper position, we need to choose some points from this curve. So this one means we add the point. When you add the point, try to make sure the center of this point is on the curve of this vase. And uh, I want to find the regression line of a piecewise function from C to G. This is a polynomial pattern. Then from G to K is uh, another polynomial. Then from K to L, this is a linear function. Therefore, you will press this uh, input. We will put a fit, then you can choose uh, from uh, all these uh, different uh, function pattern, but I will use uh, fit polynomial. List of uh, points, so I will list uh, from C to D to E to F, to G. You could see the function F of X fit the curve of a vase from C to G perfectly. If it's not that good, you can move any points. Then it will change the function to make it perfect. Now, I know the function f of x, the domain is all real numbers, but I want my function will fit from c to g only. Therefore, I will go to 
if here. Then they give you choices. I go to use the first one. Condition, that means I need a, the domain from a C to G. So I put the C. Then use a less than X. Less than X, parentheses, here's a G. Then I will put the F here because this is a F function. Then I put enter. So they give you G of X. This function, the domain is between C to this G. Now let me move this back. Then I highlight uh, this f of x. So you could see this uh, g function from uh, c to g. Now I want to find uh, another function from uh, g to this k, still polynomial function. So I will add g h. I G K Then I put the enter. So they give you this function. This polynomial function they fit this curve very well. Still, I need uh, the function. Domain is uh, from G to K. So, I will press uh, here, press if. We need an if condition then. the domain from G. to K. So here is the X. Then less than equals to X. Here is K. Then it will be H function here. So I put the H then put the enter. They give you different color. Then on highlight this uh, H of uh, X. Now I will find the linear function from uh, K to L. So put the fit. This time I need a line. The point is from K and L. Then enter. Y equals 1.38. Still, I need this I function the domain is from K to L. So I put the if, choose the first one. This is from K. Then less than X, less than X, L here. Then I will put the I function. Then unhighlight this I function. 
we use this uh, Q of uh, X. After we figure out this uh, G function, P function, and a Q function, you will move uh, this. So you could see G function, P function, and a Q function. And also the domain is given. After you get all these uh, functions, we need to change the roundings of uh, numbers. So we click here, click uh, setting, then click this again, change this one into three significant uh, figures, then save setting. In this way, you could uh, say all the function, they change into three significant uh, figures. Next step, you can move uh, all the function on the coordinate plane. You just need to click uh, and move. This is a Q of X. Here is a Q of X. This is the function. For P of X, uh, it's here. For G of function, it's here. So you could say G of a function is this, P of function is this, Q of function is this. Then you can use the snipping tool to copy and paste this onto your Word document. Then use a definite integral to figure out the volume of this vase or the surface area of this uh, vase.